Okay, it's that time of the year again. It's the new Roman magazine. We are up to magazine number 65. It frightens me how quickly these new magazines come out because I feel like we just speak about one and another one's launch. Um, the Rowan magazine, for anyone that's serious about knitting and crochet, it's always a must-have buy. Um, they, they feature the most, the most beautiful garments by the most fabulous models, generally in great scenery. Um, and everybody who's anybody with Rowan will have designed for them. Um, they did a 40-year anniversary one last September and we just couldn't keep it in stock. So this is the new spring-summer one with some really, really, really gorgeous garments in it. So, magazine 65, let's go through it. We're going to almost do it page by page. I won't take you through the pattern content at the back, but I'm going to show you all the pictures. So here we go, 42 designs. Now, this is always one of my favourite bits because I like to see who I know, which I know is a bit sad, and who's been to the craft barn. Uh, we have some great friends amongst the designers at Rowan. Um, Anna and Carlos always cause a storm whenever they come over. Sarah Hatton's been supporting us for years. She's done workshops. She also has a wine shop and does occasionally turn up with a really good bottle of wine. So we like her. Sasha Kagan is a new designer for us who's coming to us in May to do a workshop. So that's really, really good. We've obviously Kay, Martin Story, whose designs are just classics for me every time. Lisa's been over here a few times as well. So I think we've been well represented by Rowan. Um, Emma Wright, who's what, definitely one of the up-and-coming stars. Dee Hardwick. Gosh, there's loads here, Amy, that we've had. Um, the one that did make me smile, though, was Grace Jones. It's not the Grace Jones, before you start thinking she's turned to knitwear design. So they split the collections up in the magazines into, into a couple of different collections. The first one is Modern Heritage. Um, here, 12 designs taking inspiration from the heritage knitting techniques of the British Isles and Ireland. Look at the soft, heathery colours on this. They really are beautiful. Now, I've been lucky enough to see quite a lot of these in the flesh, so to speak, when I went over to the mill at Rowan, and they really are beautiful. Now, I love this scarf, and I'm thinking this could be a knit for me for a nice summer scarf. I do like to wear something knitted for work. Often it's a bit, not at the moment, but it's a bit too warm to uh, put a jumper on, etc. So these scarves are great, and I really like that. In summer, like four-ply and kid silk haze, and designed by Sasha Kagan. <clears throat> Anna and Carlos, you know we love you boys. Look at this star motif that they've put on there. A great, I think they call them tank tops. I still call them tank tops, but a really, really nice sleeveless garment there. Look at, this is a really unusual style. Can you see how the sleeves come out at the end and it's got this huge wide bottom? Um, that is, that's done in summer light DK. And then Grace Jones in Kid Silk Haze, a lovely ballet wrap round top in a beautiful lace pattern. Oh, Martin Story. You can always tell a Martin Story with his fabulous cable and bobbles. Um, again, this just looks fabulous. And there's another Martin Story in Soft Jack. If you've not used Soft Jack, it's a beautifully soft yarn. It gives great stitch definition. And how gorgeous is this in creative linen? I actually really fancy that for work. I just think they're not my exact colour, so I think I'd do it in different colours. But this is by Emma Wright, who we've had over at the craft barn a few times. Um, and that really is stunning as well. Now, I saw this one in the Rowan showroom and it's just beautiful. Look at these little bunnies on this Fair Isle design. You always get some beautiful Fair Isle in the Rowan magazines. Now, Sarah, Sat Sarah Hatton, not Sarah Satin in cotton cashmere. Sarah Hatton in cotton cashmere. Again, look at this V-stitch design going at the front of the sweater. Um, Creative Linen by Lisa Richardson. This is really flattering, this bit. It really pulls you in at the waist. Oh, look at that cotton cashmere cowl as well by Anna and Carlos. I really like that. I don't know if I've got the patience to make that, but I do really like that. Now, the next collection is plain and simple. This is my type of garment. I like something that's got quite a nice shape to it, but not huge amounts of detail. Um, I've seen one that I really, really, I love that. I tried that on and that fitted really, really well as well. I tried it on when we were over at Rowan. That's in Soft Jack DK and it's another Martin story. <clears throat> fine lace. You've got to be patient to knit in fine lace, but it does look beautiful when it's done. And look at that in cotton glass, eh? I love a mercerized cotton and I do think that one is really, really pretty. I think the colour they've chosen as well shows it off really well. Then getting on to um, some more. This one's interesting with a panel. Can you see this vest top and it's got a knitted panel inserted into the back of it as well? I've got a couple of tops like that, so very on trend. Now, isn't this gorgeous? This is the one I want. There's this one and there's a mohair one coming up and these are the ones I want for work. I just need to get a bit more time. This is a really interesting stitch technique as well. You see how it gives you almost that argyle effect? I think that's the right word anyway. Again, another one with an interesting backing, creative linen, and look at that. 
it's kids silk haze and I'm just not sure I could ever knit that in kids silk haze but that is really beautiful um, look at that outlet pattern going up I say I can't knit these because I just know I don't have a huge amount of time to make these big garments so that one's in fine lace look at this this is a combination of kids silk haze and fine lace and gives it a lovely definition across across the bust there they also do some really nice interesting articles. This one's on your capsule travel wardrobe and how you can incorporate knitwear into that. Look at these colours. Love the colour of that. And then Reflections, which is the next story. Um, some really, really interesting colour work. This is Martin's story. Look at these swirls. Got to have such a clever mind to design something like that. This is by Quail Studio. Quail Studios do a lot of design now for Rowan and do some really nice contemporary ones. That's another Martin story in cotton cashmere. And look at this one. This is a combination of cotton cashmere and kids silk haze. And can you see how using the different yarns gives you that different look? And just makes it look so mo so modern. That lovely green colour as well. Some scars by Martin Story and Lisa Richardson. Look at this. I love this striped tee there. It's really lovely. <coughs> This is by Anna and Carlos. Again, great use of colour work. Now, if you, what Rowan do very well, if you don't fancy doing Fair Isle or Intarsia, is the striped effect, which is a great, easy way of putting colour work in. Look at this by Dee Hardwick. Dee's design sells so well, and she does those contemporary flowers really well as well. This is nice. This is I love the way they've put the different colour around the edge just to make it stand out a little bit more. This is by Emma Wright. As I said, Emma's a big favourite of ours. So you can see this is all crochet. So again, it's not just for knitting this magazine. They do do an awful lot of crochet techniques in there. And this is the cave scarf, a nice long thing. Again, as I said before, it's a really easy way of putting colour into your garments just by using the stripe technique. This looks great in the monochrome, which is unusual for cave because it's usually all about bright colours. And look, I do have my eye on this. I am quite fancy making this one. I can't decide whether that is crochet or knitting. It's n is it knitting? Yes, it is. I think it's knitting. That's designed by Anna and Carlos, a blend of cotton cashmere. I probably wouldn't like it in the, in the greys for this one. I'd probably like brighter colours just to make it pop a bit more. So again, great little tops. This is an unusual construction in cotton cashmere. Look at the big wide sleeves. You could do it all in one colour if you wanted something a bit easy to wear, but I do think that striped panel across the front makes it look really unusual. Picasso. That's a great look at the colour. I love the colour of that one. Again, just some really, really, really nice shapes. That one is gorgeous in fine lace. That beautiful, the way that the sleeve edging matches the beginning of it there. Some more wraps to come. And then this takes you through all the new Rowan design books and then all of your patterns. And there you go, the Rowan Magazine 65.